What's up, Chalknet fam? Welcome back to our mini vlog. And today is the third day of the enhanced quarantine lockdown that was implemented by the government here in the Philippines. And I hope so far everything is doing great. I hope so far everything is doing okay. Kalungkot, may mga ibang... Uh, sitwasyon na hindi talaga natin makokontrol. Katulad nung may napanood ako na si Nanay, I think she was, she is 66 or 69 years old. Um, she's just trying to sell these vegetables. Papunta yata siya ng Divisoria kasi dun siya nag, nagtitinda. Tapos, I think she's from Kaloocan yata or somewhere, I'm not sure Kaloocan, basta malapit lang siya or Malayo, from Divisoria. So, nilakad niya from that specific place, going to Divisoria, it took her siguro mga two hours, or yun. May nag-post eh, alam ko ano to eh. Um, the news reporter siya ng ABS-CBN. So, I just forgot his name, pero yun nga. Nakakaawa kasi there are street vendors outside, there are people who earn daily wages, there are people na Katulad ni nanay, katulad ni nanay na nagbebenta para makaipo ng pambili ng bigas, ng pagkain para sa pamilya. Um, sana magawa ng paraan ng government to to support them. Kasi unlike us, yung mga nag, nag-work sa mga mag, magandang kumpanya or malalaking kumpanya, um, mabuti nga yung sa amin, sa company namin, maalaga talaga sa empleyado niya. And, and and I'm totally thankful dun sa sa company ko I just can't mention it syempre eh medyan yan tapos yun nakaawa lang kasi parang if you if you imagine it paano paano nila masasurvive yung isang araw and to think na the lockdown is gonna last for a month nakakaiyak kasi you wanted to help you wanted to reach out to them. Kaso madami sila eh. Pero, naniniwala naman ako na sa simple things or sa mag-start ka lang sa maliit na bagay or siguro, tulungan natin, bigyan natin ng mga mga basic necessities or pag may extra, bigyan natin sila yung mga nakikita natin sa daan na kailangan ng tulong. Na tayong mga privilege to have um just enough to to get on with our lives lives and pag may extra naman why not let's give out let's help out let's donate or i don't know kasi ang tanging susi lang i guess for for us to combat this virus is to sabi nga din sa kanta ng high school musical we're all in this together we're not supposed to survive this on our own we're supposed to survive this together, all together. And, ayun, so, a- ano pa ba? Also, dun sa mga nag ng mga basic necessities, and it's a good thing, kasi nung sa mga first part nung lockdown, medyo, ano talaga siya, medyo, hindi siya makontrol yung mga hoarding ng alcohol, face mask, ano pa, yung mga ganon, y- you guys are so heartless. You guys are so, so heartless. I mean, tapos na ibebenta nyo ng mahal sa mga kapo Pilipino nyo. That's that's too much, and it's really disheartening to to see people na ganon yung pag-uugale. Nakaka nakakapagtaka lang how they can manage na makapanglamang sa ibang tao, and nakakadismaya kasi we cannot do anything about it. I mean, maram ani magugulat ka. So yun nga, huwag na lang natin silang gayahin kasi pag inaya natin, eh, bumaba lang tayo sa level nila, ba So just get enough supply for food, for al- for yung mga rubbing alcohol. And it's a good thing na supermarkets are now implementing parang two alcohols, alcohol bottles per per person. And naka-experience akong nung face mask na sobrang mahal, but na it's it's around 675 I, I know some of you guys nakita yung post ko about that and na-report ko na siya sa DTI kasi it's too much 
Um, I think they're selling it one, one fifty higher than the supposed um, price nung no face mask. So good yon. So if you think that medyo mahal yung binibenta, check with DTI, check with their website, or check with their Facebook page. Sobrang responsive sila. And then, hingi kayo ng ano, nung parang price freeze data nila. I think meron yun sa Facebook page nila ngayon. So, yun. That's for your reference. So, if you think someone is violating the law, then go ahead, report it over. Wag po kayo matakot. Report them. Because it's our right. And, and yun ang tamang gawin. And, Another thing is to... Oh my God, I'm touching my face with my hands. Which is... Hindi nga pwede, di ba? Ayun. Kung walang, walang soap and water, alcohol is the alternate um, panghugas ng kamay. So, do not forget to always wa- wash your hands. And always... Siguro if walang soap and water, um, wet wipes muna and then alcohol, then you'll be good. But... Advisable soap and water. Um, if you can wash your hands for for more for I think sixty seconds, wash it like this. Dito mm-hmm. sa in between fingers, tas ganon, ganon, and then ganon, tas ganon. May mga steps yan eh. so yun. And also ang init. <laughs> and also yung important aside from our physical health is to take good care of our mental health. Um, sa panahon ngayon, syempre natatakot tayong mahawaan ng virus. Natatakot tayong mahawaan ng sakit from, yeah, from, ng COVID. However, we forgot about another thing which is vital to us. That's our mental health. Of course, seeing those things sa news, sa mga kung ano-ano na babalitaan natin, syempre magpapanik ka kahit paano. I mean, nandun yung panic. But, If you're mentally healthy, you stay calm. You treat the um, the situation very differently. You treat it like um, na paano ko ba sa sabihin to na na mas na mas okay, na mas ano, mapag-iisipan mo talaga na you're not supposed to panic, you're supposed to stay calm kasi help naman is help from the government naman is coming. And I'm sure And I'm sure naman na hindi nila tayo pababayaan. May mga shortcomings lang talaga. Like, locally, um, local government, siguro mga walang paramdam pa siya sa iba ngayon, sa mga lugar dyan. Pero, I hope, sooner or soon, or kung pwede, as soon as possible na po, kumilos na yung mga local officials. Wag po, sana tayo magaling lang sa pagdating ng election. Pati sana po, kung kailangan ng taong bayan ng tulong. Kilos-kilos naman po, mga ate, kuya. And, yeah, mental health is, is really, really important. Um, maging support system tayo ng isa't isa. Maging support system tayo ng, ng, ng kapamilya natin, ng mga kaibigan natin. Huwag mag-panic. Um, if you think na you're uneasy of the situation, talk to someone. Um, talk to someone who's close to you, who you trust. and talk to someone that you that you believe um na makakatulong sa iyo so yun um ano pa ba always pray i mean naniniwala ako sa kalakasan ng prayers because myself i i i've been praying to to god so many times and in fairness natutupad yung mga panga, yung mga prayers na yun. And I'm really, I'm really one of those people na I'm really one of those people who's lucky enough na I think blessed rather, not lucky. I'm blessed to na mabigyan ng chance ng ni Lord sa mga bagay-bagay. And I think naririnig naman niya tayo. I think this is a challenge for us people. Marami tayong mga nagagawa, not just to ourselves, to other people, and sa, sa environment din natin. I think he's just trying to remind us to stop, think about our actions, think about 
what's happening in the world think about what's happening to us each other i think this is also a a sign that sinasabi niya na we may be different in our beliefs in our cool races um skin color yun nga religion or languages but we we as one is na, na mga tao sa isang mundo naninirahan sa isang mundo i think this is one of his way for us to realize na we're all the same we're all equal um no race is above than the other and no one is above each other it's 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 like we're equal and i think yun yung pinaparealize na sa, sa atin yun yung naiisip ko and I think na I hope sana matapos agad sana mawala na agad and oh one more thing let's let's also pray and support our health workers not just in the Philippines but also those our um, families abroad mga nurses doctors health experts please pray for them please send them your regards please thank them because silang frontliners natin. Without them, honestly, without them, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, say thank you to them. Say appreciate their work. Thank you for thank. Um, send them thanks for their service. Easy as thank you. They will appreciate it. Us saying thank you to them is is. It's gonna be a very very big. Um, will make a very big impact on them. So, yun lang. So, on day three, stay calm and I hope sana matapos na lahat. Sana maka, maka kuha na ng vaccine for, for the virus. Sana pagising natin kaya na bukasan, mawala na lang siya. Sana pagising natin kaya na bukasan yung mga may virus mag, mag, magising din na magagaling na sila. And also, please be responsible in posting um, anything on social media. Please be careful not to spread fake news. Always be responsible in what you read, what you click, and what you post. Okay? So, you have to verify first. If you can get your information to the most trusted website like DOH, and also World Health Organization or to trusted news media platforms, that's good. And also to your local government Facebook pages, that's fine. Again, verify the news first, double check, cross check, all the check in the world, do it. And I think that's going to be everything for me. Thank you so much. Please take care and stay healthy.